Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is uh, Kent Mountie. Uh, I am the Life Safety and Commercial Product Manager uh, for Ruskin. And uh, and today we are going to be going through uh, the our Ruskin's ABD Automatic Balancing Damper. Uh, it's uh, been on the market for a little over a year with us, and it is amazingly accurate little balancing damper. Okay. The ABD model is a pressure independent automatic damper. Uh, it, it provides a constant flow. It, auto, I mean, it adjusts from any type of uh, pressures that or flows that are adjusted because of doors opening or closing. It will maintain the exact same setting that is set by the dial in front of the unit. The ABD is a, it's made out of UL uh, listed material which uh, you don't have to worry about any of the flow, smoke or flame spread on the, in your ductwork. Uh, the test, the UL2043 test on the unit, actually, you can put it in the oven, you can burn it, and it will stay together until it crumbles to dust. So uh, you don't have any toxic fumes or uh, messes uh, during a fire event. On uh, the damper itself, it is also made with antimicrobial agent, so you, we don't have to worry about any type with the plastic uh, inherent growth of mold or any type of bacteria. So it's it's a very safe product to use in your buildings. Basically, how the uh, ABD works, it's a spring mechanism that is designed on the unit, and in the front of the, the unit, there is many set points. Each uh, diameter has different set points. All you have to do is move the lever to the set point you need the flow for your uh, ductwork and it will automatically set at that flow and stay there forever. The unique uh, part of this, uh, you know, utilizes the laws of physics. The more pressure you apply against the spring, the more resistance the spring will push back. And it, it's amazing that you can turn your fan up and down and show it, and the blade will move as the uh, velocity increases. It will auto actually close slowly. It, does, it won't close all the way off, but it will stay within the 10% accuracy of the damper. The damper automatically comes with a uh, gasket seal. Uh, so when it is inserted into a round duct, it seals off around the outside of the damper so you do not have excess leakage through the duct system. Also, the damper is supplied, uh, factory supplied, with a mounting flange. The mounting flange actually snaps onto the unit so you can have a hole in a piece of sheet metal like a plenum box and just put the damper against one side, the seal holds up against it, snap the ring on the other side and it is installed. It's very quick and easy to be installed. What's in the value of a product like this? Well, basically ventilation accounts for 40% of the energy consumption in most buildings. And with saying that is the damper comes down to usually, well, let me back up, a typical balancing you have to have someone come in and balance each room and every duct. Well, usually after a year or so of a building being in uh, occupied, uh, residents and uh, people change the ventilation, and then so your I mean, each manual balancing damper turns around. It is not set for the right CFM for every room. With the AVDs, it will be set. They don't have to worry about adjusting any. Uh, losing any adjustment in it, and you turn around and save lots of money per year. And on ratio, you can save up to about $1,200 in a 43-day period. Where your benefit comes through is when you got high-rise type buildings, you end up getting a stack effect. Is and you know through your years, you uh, through the summer or through the winter, you got hot and cold. So, and plus when your fan is on top of the building, you're gonna suck most of your air on an exhaust duct through your top couple of floors. As you lower the, or move down, you can lose or gain your CFM. So you always have to balance each floor. 
with a young. Know, so as you're seeing here is your traditional balance against the automatically balancing damper on your right hand or left hand side of the screen is before the auto balancing is you have different CFMs. You would end up with different CFMs on every floor or no CFM at all, like on the ground floor. When you set the automatically balancing damper, and if you set it for the same CFM throughout the whole, uh, all the stories in the building, you will have that exact same CFM in which you save money on your energy, on your fan operation also, and keep the good air quality in your building. A, a typical auto I mean, balancing is manually done. You either have a hood that goes over a diffuser or grill or a handheld, and then you measure it you record it and then you move on it takes someone to actually then move the manual balancing damper to the specified flows you need and so it's very labor intensive so basically when you have a, compared to a traditional balancing damper and the abd is your set point is you have a set point you move the lever to it and you get your set point the uh, man, manual balancing damper you actually have to check your flow, move the lever, lock it in, check your flow until you get the close to the area uh, flow you need. So it takes a lot of the labor out. It takes a lot of the uh, energy, uh, the cost and everything that a manual balancing, typical manual balancing damper costs a, a building owner just to be able to use, even though it doesn't require electricity to operate it. Uh, a typical uh, diffuser after the building is balanced. Uh, actually, one of these pictures is uh, here in Ruskin uh, trying to balance the air is that you come through as people turn around and if they don't get the proper air or too much air, they shove things up into the ductwork. Then which now you push more air into other diffusers. So more people are getting more air or not enough air in across your HVAC system. Another thing with the ABD is that it's labor saving and you don't have to have an access door to get up into the ductwork in the facility. The ABD fits right behind the grill and through your exhaust or supply duct. So you can adjust it through the grill and not have expensive and labor uh, intensive access doors to access the damper. This is just like a typical application. You can do a ceiling mount or uh, in a bathroom exhaust, especially in hotels is a very popular usage of uh, the ABD and assemblies. Or you can use it as a wall supplier exhaust, and it, which also comes into many different types of housings. To move on to the, the ABD models that Ruskin can supply is we actually have the ABD model, which is the damper itself. <coughs> Next is we have our ABD SEA, which is in a small a plenum box with a grill. Then uh, you have your SEA-E, -E, which is a shallow box with a uh, collar coming off the back of the damper, I mean, the box to put the damper in. Uh, new on the market is our ABD-FD, which is a static fire damper that mounts with the damper assembly. And another new one on the market is the ABD-CFD, which is uh, ceiling uh, fire dampers. It's the only UL listed fire damp ceiling radiation damper with automatic balancing damper in the industry. The plain ABD at this time is only uh, can be supplied in a four inch, five inch and a six inch diameter assembly. Uh, other diameters are uh, in the design work and the date of release is unknown with uh, complications through development. So, the construction type on the ABD SEA, it basically comes with a simple plenum box, which is uh, basically about four and a half inches deep. The ABD is slipped into the box with the snap ring on the backside to hold it into place. Then there's a nice aluminum grill that is built by Ruskin uh, that we put on the front. We do not supply some of the cheap grills that some other manufacturers might supply that are stamped and everything. These are made 
uh, in the United States uh, at our Alabama facility. This is what the ABD SEA assembly, as you would receive it, would look like. It's all assembled with a grill attached and all. Next is the ABD dash SEA dash E. Dash E meaning it's the extended uh, collar onto the box. So it has a nice, it's a basically same construction as the SEA, except it has a shallow inch and a half box. Then it has a collar for the damper to sit in so you can connect ductwork to the back side of your grill. Next is the ABD uh, ST, ST standing for side tap. So when you have shallow uh, shafts that the damper is going into, we offer a side tap that you can connect ductwork to or no, no ductwork to, to be able to right, so you don't have your depth to worry about inside your shaft cavity. The ABD-FD is also, it's the only UL listed assembly that can be used with a, a automatic balancing damper in the industry. It, it comes with a thin line fire damper, UL555 listed with a grill and with installation instructions and grill mounting and very simple to use. And if, so anytime you come across a competitor that's offering assembly like this, the damper is usually shipped loose for field uh, mounting and then it's up to the local authority's approval for the complete damper assembly. A quick little side view how everything is set up with the, uh, AB, with the fire damper and the ABD and the collar extended on the back side. And going to the CFD, this is the newest, uh, just about a month ago, we have the UL listing on it. So for all the ceiling mountings uh, with CFD, especially apartments or uh, hotels where you got wood truss construction, you can have the ABD with the CFD7T and be UL listed for the complete assembly for your facility. <clears throat> so uh, at this time, uh, everything is basically, it's a simple fire damper. We have other, done a lot of testing and verifying its performance. So if anyone has any questions, please raise their hand and we'll be happy to answer them. And the one question come in is, can we use the dampers for bathroom <clears throat> ventilation without the need of uh, traditional fans? And uh, that comes for that is if you have uh, your bathroom ventilation and you have a continuously running fan on the, uh, on the roof to meet UL requirements, yes, you may use it uh, for just regular ventilation. Okay, it says, uh, is the F, I mean, ABD FD is just a static uh, damper, correct? At this time, yes, it is a static damper only in the vertical position. Uh, we are working on uh, the dynamic version of the thin line damper to uh, be able to supply that. Hopefully, that will be sometime early 2018. Hope that answers your question. Okay, another question is, is does the does this increase the noise criteria value? Uh, through the testing we've done here, uh, the noise uh, through the uh, ductwork and through the ABD valve, is, the noise level is not increased. It is very quiet. It doesn't whistle or anything like that. Okay, so at this time, uh, I would say thanks for everyone uh, to join the webinar, and you can have uh, questions for me if you want. Uh, my email is at kmaune at ruskin.com, and you can send me an email, and I'll be glad to answer your questions. So everyone have a good day, and, and hope you enjoyed the webinar.